Now that's Mujtaba sitting on top of our DIY go-kart and there I'm gathering footage for this video that took us weeks, well actually months to squeeze this awesome build into the following video that's about to show you the process behind building this go-kart completely out of scratch. Now the first ingredient in our recipe is going to be a broken hoverboard out of which we are going to take brushless outrunner motors that are mounted inside the tires of the hoverboard to drive our go-kart and also the main board to control those motors. So first of all it's time to take the hoverboard apart. keep things simple yet reliable, we focus to modify most of the parts from hoverboard and with that thing in mind we designed our go-kart. The whole frame is made out of metal tubing so we started chopping them to the desired lengths. Now instead of just welding everything together, we decided to keep things apart using Allen screws. Mujtaba, where is my cell phone, yaar? Once the frame started coming together, we designed the steering mechanism which was simple push-pull assembly. Both the front wheels were attached to the steering rod using a pair of linkages with ball joints on either end so that the whole assembly will be as swift as power steering. Well, I hope nobody heard it. Now let's machine all those parts and get them right in place.
with that being done, our stadium mechanism is ready and the, the basic structure of the go-kart is completed. So what we need to do now is to get this thing protected as it's a rainy season and things are getting rusted. And besides that, we have got a new paint gun, so let's get our hands dirty. So we have got all the parts painted. Have we got the tools? Yes. So it's time to assemble everything again. As we reassembled the frame, we needed a base plate for which we are going to use metal checkered plate. Once we trimmed it to size, it was just a matter of finishing the steering wheel so that we can jump towards the control side of the go-kart. With that being done, we are a step away from driving our go-kart for which we are going to need four brushless motor speed controllers. Now we would either end up spending the budget of our next Yawa project on readily available speed controllers or we could just modify the stock firmware of the hoverboard speed controller to get the job done. Now here I would love to thank Skillshare for getting us through this step as we knew nothing about embedded system designing once we started this project. But once we faced that challenge, we did came across a bunch of courses that helped us get the basic understanding of what we were aiming for and later we polished our skills with more advanced courses. Now I would highly recommend you guys to go check out Skillshare for learning anything from woodworking to embedded system designing as they have got it all covered. If you sign up for their annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month and the first thousand people to use the link in the description will get free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. The hoverboard controller was initially programmed to control the speed and direction of motor with respect to the tilt angle that's detected by two onboard gyros. So we modified the stock firmware to use two separate joysticks as analog inputs, one for forward and the other one is for reverse direction. As the board offers regenerative braking so while moving forward, the other joystick serve as the brake and vice versa. Not only that, we added four different drive modes that offers a combination of speed and acceleration depending upon who's driving this go-kart. In mode 4, we offered turbo boost feature that increases the top speed up to 40% that we have achieved by using field weakening and can be activated by pulling the reverse joystick as the go-kart approaches its maximum speed. Once we finalized the firmware, we reprogrammed the board which took some, well, a lot of troubleshooting as we have to drive four motors together, we have to sync two control boards to work together which was uh, a mess. Well, once we are done with that, we laid the wiring and soldered everything together. We 3D printed the enclosure for two switches along with the joysticks that goes over the steering wheel to control this go-kart. The last thing we needed was a custom made lithium ion battery pack to power this go kart. The battery pack offers 14 cell in series that adds up to 54 volts and a capacity of nearly 1000 watts hour, and that's sufficient enough for uh, about an hour of runtime.
Now don't get him wrong, but this thing offered crazy amount of acceleration that was way better than our expectations. Obviously we drove the kart in mode 4 and with turbo boost we achieved nearly 35 to 40 km hour of top speed. The steering and everything else worked like a charm, but as we have got no suspensions on board. Yes, this kart is hell on those bumps, but that's a go-kart and meant to have fun and we made sure to have lots of it. So guys for such kind of uh, fun DIY projects do subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you soon in the next one. Woo!